So we are all aware of the big money making methods in Stardew Valley. Among them is the popular ancient fruit in your greenhouse method, followed with fermenting the fruits into wine to increase their value. I've recently expanded this method to include the bigger crop field in the next patch 1.5 Ginger Island Farm. But how much resources does it take to get to this point? As you can see, this is me currently running around doing my weekly routine to make the big money. So, while past me is working hard, present me will tell you about how he got to that point. It all starts with one ancient seed artifact. This is the item. It's kind of rare, but you can find them from digging artifact spots in the mountains near Robin's house and in Cinder Sap Forest. They drop from all these bugs and grubs, which are common in the copper levels of the mines or in the sewers. You can get them from fishing chests or from artifact troves. You can actually buy them from the traveling merchant on a rare occasion as well. If you get the seed artifact, donate it to Gunther and he will give you the first ancient seed and the recipe to make more if you find others. That is step one. Now this seed will grow all the way through spring, summer and fall. It takes a full 28 days to grow, which is forever. But after that it bears fruit every 7 days because it's a multi-harvest fruit. I've actually never risked planting this outside. You can have as many scarecrows but there's still the off chance that lightning is going to strike it and knowing my luck, that is exactly what's going to happen. Nah. I wait until I have the greenhouse which I usually have by my first fall. Now plant that seed and make sure you have a sprinkler so you don't have to worry about it at all. To help the process you can use speed fertilizers to grow it quickly. In one month, you will have your first ancient fruit. Now you have plenty of time to make at least one seed maker in that time. Pop that fruit into the seed maker and hopefully the game treats you well and it will give you one to three ancient seeds back. Now plant those once as well. Every seven days, come back, collect fruit, multiply fruit, plant new fruit and repeat the process. Depending on your luck and the amount of seeds you started with or if you find any more seeds, this process should take a few in-game months, maybe even one year. That's okay because the next step is the most labor intensive and you have work to do. The kegs. You want a keg for every fruit you will eventually have. In the greenhouse I have 116. On Ginger Island I have 360 extras. But I also have multiple fruit trees. I have 4 sheds full of kegs and 2 extras sitting out front as a visual indicator for when my wines are ready. 550 kegs. Let's break this down folks and see exactly what is required for this absurd amount. Kegs need 30 wood each, 1 copper and iron bar each and 1 oak resin. 550 times with 30 wood is 16,500 pieces of wood. 1 copper and iron bar means I needed 2,750 copper and iron ore to make those and 1100 pieces of coal to make the bars. Oak resin is painful, 550 bottles of oak resin. Guys, this doesn't include the resources needed to make the upgraded sheds. A fully upgraded shed will cost you 850 wood each and 300 stone. So 3400 wood and 1200 stone. Aside from the other numbers, the total wood required for this is 19,900. That's whack crazy. Okay, I'm not throwing numbers at you to scare you people. I come with a plan and I want to share. Wood. 20,000 pieces of wood. Okay, no worries. What if I told you that you can make that in about two seasons? Absolutely shocking, I know. Guys, to get this crazy amount will require the use of tree fertilizers and depending on how quickly you want this goal, the switching of your character build to the wood gathering one. I made a video about collecting 3240 wood per week during winter and if you follow that method you'll be able to reach this wood goal in two seasons. The video is three and a half minutes long and I'll link it at the end of this video. Next up is the massive amount of copper and iron ore that you need. There's not really any secret around this, you need to do a lot of mining other than buying the ores from Clint but this is about making money not spending it. One thing you could do is shallow mine runs. Let's say you need copper. Pick an elevator level or even the very first level. Jump down. Is there any copper? Nope. Then head back up and head back down. This is a bit of a cheap method but constantly resetting the mine could help you get the ores you want much quicker. Also a side note. 
Let's say you don't actually have your Ancient Seed artifact yet. What you could do is, when you start to gather your ores, gather the iron ores first and while you do this, kill as many dust sprites as you can. Why? Well, when you kill 500 of them, you get the Burglar Ring as a reward from the Adventure Guild. This ring makes monsters drop twice as much loot. So once that's done and a good chunk of your iron ore requirement, you could start doing the copper ore levels, but also searching for all the grubs, bugs and flies. Because now with this ring, they have a double chance of dropping the ancient seed for you. Oak resin is going to be a pain, but I suggest as soon as you have your ancient seed, you create an oak forest and tap every single one of them. This is going to be a slow process, but I transformed the train area into a oak tapper farm. This was actually the last stage that needed to be completed before I had all my cakes. Oak resin takes 7-8 to eight days to be produced. Right, so while I have blabbed on about all the requirements I have gone into making this goal a reality, how often does this need to be tended to? Well, it's only once a week. I harvest all my fruits on Saturdays and then put them into the cakes, and this usually takes up most of the day. I chose Saturdays because there is nothing special going on those days for me anymore. Once I gathered everything, I put them into the cakes straight after and this takes up most of the day. My fingers kill me at the end of it. The fruits are actually ready the following Friday, but I prefer collecting the previous week while I put the next batch in at the same time. I also cleared out my animals one week ago to match the timing here to see how much money I can make from them as well. Note I didn't bother making any cheese or mayonnaise. I want this to be as less labor intensive. This is also during winter so no pig truffles. So I think that covers all that needs to be said so let's get to the big finale. Selling all my animal products and wines in one week I was able to clock 1,170,000 and that's pretty sick. Everyone can follow this money making strategy, whether or not you want to maximize it or take it easy and focus more on aesthetically pleasing money making methods for yourself. I hope this gave a bit of a different outlook on how much resources and time goes into implementing this ancient fruit strategy. This is during winter as well. I'm looking forward to planting a bunch of different crops in spring. But until then guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. One for all and all for one. Cheers. Peace out.